because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Stop, stop. Why are you saying we always start every time, every time? Every time. I don't flinch, that's the difference between me and you. Yeah, I don't flinch either. But you always got to touch me. Let's just leave me alone. Let's just do the interview so I can go, mate. Do you know what? Your dad said something interesting. He said he's the, the fittest 60 year old man in the world or in the country? In the country, mate. I think we should. I think we should test that. I think I should put a post out saying who fancy challenging Nigel being 60, 60 years old to uh, like a CrossFit class session. Oh, CrossFit class. Now if we beat him, then we got to go in the ring. I should really sort him out. <laughs> do, do you two still have a little move about when the? I, I wouldn't do it, I, you know I mean, I don't want to hurt his career to you the <laughs> truth really, you know what I mean, I, I, mine finished so I can really just open up on him, you know what I mean, so yeah we could move around, but the funny thing about it, when have we, when have we ever had, when, it's the footage were out of you two actually having a move about weren't there a couple of years ago, well, um, well like 10 uh, years ago, yeah. that was like, you know, we were just playing around in it, you know what I mean, because his career was just starting so I had to take it easy, that's why I just had to take it easy with him, you know what I mean? And as I get older, you know, I talk about a bottle of wine, you know, the more mature you become in everything. Benjamin you know? Button. Yeah, I'm Benjamin, Benjamin Button, Button, mate. I'm Benjamin Button, 100% I'm Benjamin Button, Ben. You know what I mean? I just want to see when you, like, hopefully, God willing, I'm still around when you're, like, you know, in your 50s. Let's see how much shape you'll be in. I'm, mate, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to capture yeah, that. I'm not, I'm not interested. In what? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm, no, when I'm retired, yeah. I can reti I'm retired, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm retired, but look, it's still in shape at, you know, nearly 60. Can you keep that up, though? You ain't got that discipline like me. Me? No, no, look, why are you screwing up your face? Why? Why you because worried? you know what you're doing. You're prodding <laughs> and poking, and it's hit. <laughs> well, don't poke me, then. Don't, 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 don't do this on camera. You <laughs> don't want this on camera. You know what I mean? Strangling me. It will get out of hand. Yeah, OK, yeah, I can hold my own now. You can't hold your own. How about what happened downstairs in the gym last time you were here? Remember when I had you in that? Like that, remember when I did that? Oh, because I fell. What, what, Because I fell. Yeah, that was it. Because just lost me step, that was all, mate. You know what I, mean? I would have paid any money to have that on video, you know. Yeah, I know you would have. Yeah. Do, do you ever think about like what would have happened if you had that fight you were going to have with uh, Sacco Beaker? No, I'm not worried. Yeah, I was never worried about that. I think I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I felt in, in kind of a vouch for this. Me and Tony and, and Connor, we went to um, Harley Street. We done a fitness test on me, and they said I was the fittest. 55 year old they've ever had. They had said I had the fitness of a 25 year, a very fit 25 year old. We've done all the masks and everything, ride the bike and everything. And that's because I've been wearing an altitude mask for like for two years. And that was that with my fitness. That was my fitness. And not only that, I weren't stressed, so I'm not stressed no more. Anyway, I'm glad it didn't happen anyway, because the only person I would have would have liked to have thought would have been Chris and that would have been it. Nobody else. You, you, you weren't a, a fan of that situation at all at that time, I remember, were you? Um, no, I guess it won't be nicking the glory, that was it, that's what it was. No, zero interest. Because <laughs> he was nicking all the glory. <laughs> None of your kids really wanted you to do it, did they? No, I think, you know what, yeah, but they didn't know. I think, you know, unless you're a fighter, in knowing that, you know, to get where I got, with all, all the issues that I had in life, mate, to get to be two-time world champion with all the issues that I, I got and then retire and think, mate, I'm in better shape now than when I was fighting. 100%, 100%, no stress, no little fellas, no splits, no cigarettes, <laughs> nothing. It's all that was out of the picture you know, now. You're such a mad match. It's funny how you just open up, like, oh, my no, whole child... Ca casual talking, my, yeah. yeah. but my whole childhood growing up, yeah, Con, you know, back in the day, rah, 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 yeah, you know, but... <laughs> Yeah, because you know if he could go back in time, if, if he could go back in time or stay where he is now, but with the knowledge, you know, you go back in time one million percent, wouldn't you? All right, fair, all right. Some parts. Some parts, oh yeah, I'll go back in time. If I could re repair the damage I've done, that's the only reason I'd go back. And that's to do with mum, nothing else. Nothing oh, else. you'll go back in time for nothing else. <laughs> no, because yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gonna be watching this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't go back in time, Cal. <laughs> what about 
one night only. What, what oh, part of your life going back? Me and Tony were only talking about that. Me and Tony were only talking about one night only at ministry. One night. Oh, and Look, go ministry. Back. Already knows his ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One night to go back to ministry and have the same people all around back in the nineties. Just for one night. One night to have like people like Dave Morales, Eric Miller is not here no more, but um, Roger Sanchez, Todd Terry, Louis Vega, and all them type of mate. Yeah. Just to like, you know, back actually in that time, yeah. Just to just have one night. Just to say, yeah, mate, not change. Yeah, I think, yeah, that was it. That would have been it, mate. I would have, I would have loved that. Me and, me and Tony was only talking about that yesterday. We were only talking about that yesterday. How nice it would be just to have one more night. You're 26, yeah? How would a 26 year old Nigel Ben survived in today's era? You at 26. We spoke about this on our podcast coming out, but kind of the differences between your growing up and what you had to endure outside of boxing, but how would you have survived today, 26 year old Nigel Ben? Well, well, yeah, it's completely because if we had all the same people around that we had then, have now, it would still have been the same thing. But it would have been like now, it would have been all the, we never had no phone cameras and all that. We, we, it was just like a phone without no camera and all that. So everything, we, no social media. I would have been hated to be around this time. Absolutely hated. I would not, you know, the social media, they can crucify you and all that. It's, you know, when we went out, mate, and we were all off our trolley, everyone was on the same, on the same, on the same place, mate. No, nobody was different. Everybody was the same. Nobody was trying to stitch anybody up. We just had, the, we just had the, the wrong people and the right people. If you understand what I mean, mate. If someone, if someone was like on me with a tone, <laughs> have a word, you know. So it, it was all like that, you know what I mean. But we, we all looked after each other back in the day. You know, they all knew. So it wasn't like you know people were setting you up like they like they do in our day, mate. No, I would, I, I would hate being around now. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, you know, I wouldn't say what will uh, 26 Nigel, 26 Nigel during this day. I think we would worked it, we would have worked it out. Don't worry about that, man. We would have worked it all out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't change anything back then. And I, I, I wouldn't, I would not like to be around in this time. Completely different, mate. And how would Connor have survived back then? He's aged now. Oh, well, me and him together, if we were around, mate, he would have absolutely loved it. <laughs> he, he would have loved it, mate. He would have been, I, I, I believe, he would have been in the same place I would have, mate. I just know he's me. So, like, the apple don't fall far from the tree. He would, he would have been me. He would have loved it, mate. He would have loved it. He mostly struggled out of dance because he's like the white side of him, right? <laughs> he can't dance. <laughs> the black side of him, that, 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 he can't do that either, you know what I mean? So he's like, you know, he's got two left feet, mate, when it comes to dancing. Yeah, I've never seen you dance, actually. No, you don't. I'm more, want of, a head, more of a head bopper. Yeah, head bopper, yeah, that, that's it. And that's it. And, it, and, it, and he doesn't even do it to the beat either. It'll be all over <laughs> the place. <laughs> um, look, obviously, we, we did an interview the other day and... This uh, Eubank fight seems to be back on the cards now, but you all for it? Well, I don't know. I don't really want to talk, but you know, I don't want to put the the horse before the cart. You know what I mean? But I mean, I would, I would love it to go, on, mate. But you know, what I mean, I, I just know my son. I, I put my son against Smith. Put my son against Brook, Eubanks. And I think my son will smash them all, mate. And I'll say that, man, I'll say that on camera. He'll smash them all. And then you know what it is? I wouldn't even care if he any moves on in fight Spence or Crawford. That's how confident I am, my son. Regardless, when I lose, mate, I know he put up a hell of a fight. I just know me son. And watching him now, mate, it's just like, he's not been out of the ring, but he's learnt more out the ring than what he has in the ring. Give me my tip. I'll give you a 50 after. But for you, and your dad round here, very important to you? Yeah, it's nice. You know, I say all the time, it's a, it's a nice reminder of, of who I am, the stock I come from, if that makes, if that makes sense. You know, it's not just a fighter in, in, you know, in a boxing gym in the ring, it's a, you know, I speak for life. Speak for life, like fire in life. Yeah, but yeah, but I see him now when I look at and I always say this when I look at my fitness and his fitness, it's just like it's just completely different. 
We didn't have no like strength and conditioning coach. We didn't know about twitch fibers, what the hell was all this. Get some red meat down, you get some steak down, yeah. You know, don't drink no water, don't have nothing, just have a lemon to drink. So completely different how it's they okay, train. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just that's stuck with me. It works, even though you say it doesn't, it works for me. And I'm not going to change that. You, all your different training mentality. I mean, yeah, I mean, even like doing my weights. I'm there, yeah, doing that. And he does it with his weight where they do like, what is bend down on one knee and all that. I mean, that's hard work. And he's getting me pushing this like, this weight like, he does 10 kilo, I do like six. And I'm like all over the place because I'm used to doing a certain way. And yet he's just showing me. So I'm watching what he does, like things that he's teaching me. It's unbelievable. Um, you're here for a little while though, Nigel. Yeah, I've yeah, been here for about three weeks, four weeks now, so I've got another three weeks left. Then I go back, you know, I think, you know, it's, it's coming to an end where, like, you know, I'm not going to continue to do this because I think I'm sick of missing my wife and my kids and just, like, really just What's done touring going to do? Yeah, like, I, I, I see how, how long touring's got, you know, I mean, I've been doing it since 97, and, you know, and it's... Uh, I think like you know it's coming to an end so I'm gonna pull the um, the curtain down on the, on the great career and just like spend time with my wife doing something what God called me to do and that's really to help these broken men in Australia that are suffering with depression, suicidal thoughts, um, drug addiction and all a lot of the things that I've been through you know and helping to keep a family together means more to me than the world titles any day of the week you know to be able to help someone you know survive a marriage breakdown of what I've been through, it's very tough. So if I can give them a bit of wisdom and knowledge, yeah, mate, that's, that's what it's all about. And I could just come over and watch kind of fight. How often do you two have these kind of talks? Obviously, you're around each other when you're here, pretty much 24 seven, living, training together. But do you have these kind of conversations, these reality conversations, life yeah, checks? We, 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 I think, you know what it is, it's like a lot of things is sometimes Connor's like me, it's like, <laughs> And sometimes, like my dad used to tell me, he said, well, you go and do what you go and do. You made you better, you lay in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But sometimes, you know, you, you know, I remember, you know, telling Connor, you know, about how to invest his money. He said, nah, daddy, that, that's the old way and all that, you know. So, uh, so sometimes it's like, you know, I said, okay, mate, I'll still sit in my own, own old way. And sometimes there's new things on, around now compared to when I was around. Yeah, it's but, funny though, isn't it? Yeah. Because you may say, it is just funny how investments are so different now compared to, compared to what it used to be back in the day. Yeah. You know, they're safe for bets elsewhere. Yeah. But no, but it, you can't go wrong with bricks and mortar. I've yeah. got, you know, I've that's, got property, that's but that's it's just funny like. how the methods are different. Yeah, I, I, I would, like with me, I would always say invest in property, yeah. mate. How I survive is like buying 15 properties outright and then owning them. You didn't think at the end of the day, that's how I survived because that's what I'd done when, when we had the recession. And it's the same thing I want to tell Connor, just invest in bricks and malt, mate. You, you can't go wrong there. And then when, like, you know, by the time you retired in, I don't know, five, six years' time, then you know, you every fight you, you invest, buy, buy more property, buy, buy more property, and then you earn them out right. Then by the time you're, you're 35, 36, mate, you, you've got all these properties and you've got good capital coming in. And that's all I want to do, be, be able to look after his, his mum and all that. I'm not saying I, I don't do that, you know. Look after his mum? Because yeah, he, he, don't, he, don't, he don't ever, you know what I mean? Mate, if he bought, if he Who comes and lives, no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, no. But yes, before you pipe up, who comes here into my house here, all my homes, every home I've had, <laughs> and break something. <laughs> break, uh, just. Uh, what, what do you break? And how do you break it? Oh, why are you screwing? Why the are you goes, yeah, but, yeah, but why are you screwing? I'm curious my, about my, it. Oh, no, no, my washing dispenser, <laughs> my front door, my stair gate, um, old, like I had a listed building, the whole floor, dragged the sofa, scratched the whole sofa, the, ho the, the whole floor. I had to get the whole, and then I've come in, yeah? I've come in the house. He's got, oh, I can fix it. He's got the sanding machine out and started sanding. There's one bit of the floor that's all sanded down. <laughs> Sand everywhere. Oh, mate. Oh, wood and everywhere. Put, and then I put the thing out. And then he pulled <laughs> put the car, I had, no, oh. no, remember the thing I put in the And the sellotape ripped off all the paint off the wall. <laughs> it's just, it, so before you, before you go, oh, yeah, you know, you don't look after me anyway. Oh, yeah, we won't go back court cases then, will we? 
That was mum. As you said, you're already, he, he's, you, you made your bed, you lay in it. My mum's going, Nigel, no, we have to help him out. But he's going, no, I ain't doing that for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I know. Yeah, so I still ain't got that money, that check ain't been cashed in yet, mate. I'm telling you. So, uh, yeah. Nigel, I remember when, when he first turned over and... I'm not talking about him slapping. You're not talking about that. Are you talking about when he was slapping when he first fight? No, no, what about the press conference? No. When you was hitting like that, yeah. and we thought to ourselves, mate, the way that you're fighting, mate, I thought, well, you, is you my, might, is you might, my, is this my cue to leave? No, no, it might be somebody, it might, might, might be, be somebody, English, <laughs> might be. <laughs> and then the phone, look at what Tony's done, mate, you know, so I'm just in proud. I, I see him being world champion, even two, two I, I can see him moving up from welterweight, going to uh, light middle, or what they call super welterweight or whatever. I could see him doing that, you know, I could see him being a two-time world champion, you know what I mean, just like his dad. And then instead of me, keep on saying like, Connor Ben, intercontinental, in, that inter, con, in, 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 intercontinental, <laughs> got to get rid of that. He's ripped you about this for a while, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the only thing he's got, it's the only thing he's got. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep using it. He's going to keep using it. Yeah, until, until you get it the real It doesn't even matter how much my, could, my <laughs> net worth could be, you know, 10 mil, X, he's still going to keep bringing up the intercontinental. Yeah, 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 because you would do that to me. You would do that. I know you because you are me and I am you. Yeah, okay, I don't take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> I won't care anyway. <laughs> the reference I was going to make, that press conference when Connor, Connor was announced as a signing um, for his like pro debut and turning pro with, with Eddie and that, your attitude, I remember then, was you're going to, you trust Eddie Hearn to guide his career. You're just going to, you'll be there, you'll come to some of the fights, but ultimately, you're going to let him crack on with it, which is pretty much what you've done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know what it is. I don't try and get involved with Connor. The only thing I would always tell him, two things I say, be faithful, pay your taxes. That's it. Because what the way that Tony, the way that Tony is, is dealing with his training, I've got, I wouldn't even get involved. Wouldn't even get involved. Good, you haven't really got involved. Like, in it, like, my dad's there and he'll watch my fights, my opponents, my training. But he don't really, like him and Tony may have a chat, but they don't, he just lets Tony crack on. Yeah. But the same with, same with Eddie as well. Like from the start, like I see my full career with the team I've got now. Yeah, yeah. My career will, yeah. it, it all fits. Do you know what I mean? From Tony to Eddie, Frank Smith, Matrim. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so happy with, with the team I've got. Do you know what I mean? I'll see, my, I'll see my career through. I'll hang up the gloves with the team I've got now. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's a good thing about it. I, I, when, I, when I go to bed, I sleep good at night. You know, I know with what, what the team that he's got. Well, what Tony's done with him is like, mate, just phenomenal. To see him and actually see him now, how he's training now, is much better than when it was when it fight you, mate. He's much better now. The moves that he's doing, I think, yeah, mate, I just say I'm so impressed. Uh, I don't worry about it. what I've seen now. I would say, you know, after his next couple of fights, I say, yeah, go and fight Spencer or Crawford. I don't care. We can't just win, lose or draw because I know what, what he's got in there, mate. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd risk him with everybody. Really, I really would. That's how confident I am I'm because of the, the time, the energy. I mean, it's different. I remember when we first started, He'd have a fight and then he'd go out driving around. Now what he does is, oh, no, I what don't... What is that when you look yeah. back? You after, even... after training, I would hover got around. Yeah. Just got my licence, I'd hover around, I'd be out everywhere. Yeah. And then it was after the pain off, everything, everything changed for me. Where it was like, all right then. Do you know what I mean? That was where it was like, it's what, what, the way I am living, it ain't what it's about. Yeah. And just now I go home, I'll go back to bed. I, I sleep. I see him in the day. No, just... I sleep a good 13, 14 hours a day. 13 hours a day. Yeah. When we go home, 10 to 12 hours it. sleep at I night. I see him. Once he gets in, he goes up and Oh, thank you, son. Bye. And he's gone. And he goes in and have a kip. And that's it. So I think, yeah, he's doing, he's doing everything now. So he's, he's in that routine, even when he's not fighting. He's sitting in that routine, that mindset. We, we don't see each other. But like when we train, we're going to train later on, and then afterwards, that's it. That's the only time I see him, we're in the gym together, then afterwards we go home and that's it. Yeah, we'll, train, we'll train again tonight, yeah. and it's the same routine every day. Nigel, what, what have you seen over the last two and a half years since Eli's come along, the change in him? What have you seen? Nothing much, really. Uh, 
I know he loves his little boy. I think it's so funny when I actually see him in Eli, it just reminds me of me and him. Because it's like, you know, the, the, the bond that you got. And I just hope that... <laughs> and it's so funny when I look at Con, and I actually see Eli in him. He's mischievous. He's funny. Uh, yeah, he's just... You know, and I see that in Connor when I watch the, 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 the videos back when he was like five. It was just like, you know, it was just funny. He was actually doing pads for me then. And so I'm actually watching Eli and Connor, but the, the, the bond that they both have is it, more like, you know, it's Eli who wants to be with his dad more than he wants to be with his mum, even though he loves his mum. It's just that sunny that he's got that bond in because, like, you know, he makes a big fuss of him and he, and he knows he makes a big fuss of him and he, and he loves it. And it's just great to see. So it's just like I'm watching it all over and over again. Like, yeah, 100 I make a big fuss of him. Oh, man. Oh, Eli, Eli. Oh, come on, give daddy kids. And Eli just, mate, just all over him, yeah. Yeah. you know? But when but Connor has to be firm, he listens, but you know I me. Mean? But it, but you know, but it, it, it's the way that Connor, like you know, deals with him. It's just unbelievable, really. Yeah, right. Every time I go, he runs around the house in the morning. He's going, Dada, 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 trying to look for me. Running around all upstairs and downstairs, yeah. and he's running around trying to look for me. Oh, it's the cutest thing. And you hear him, and I'm, he wakes me up. I wake up to Dada, Dada, yeah. running around the house. Yeah. Oh, it's. Um, Oh, you don't get much better feeling than that. And then, and then he comes in and gets me bed. <laughs> dada, dada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, listen, I do appreciate both of your time. You two are standing in exactly the same pose there, he was. Yeah, Where's it better? Yeah, a, bit a bit shorter. Yeah, but you've got yeah. shoes on, haven't you? I ain't got no shoes on. Look, you were like, yeah, you you hiding me. What are you on about? Who hits harder right now? Me. Oh, are, what? are you joking? <laughs> Do you think you're out of me? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. We done it. We done it on the punch bag. What are you on about? You used to run on the no, no, no. One of them punch bags. No, we done. We done. Magaluf. Yeah, like one of them little silly machines. No, but it still punch harder than you. That's what. Don't be silly. How are we going to prove it then? You could. No, mate, your chin. My chin. You'd be talking off air. Both do it at the same time to even it yeah, out. Mate, no, he's no, he's no way. That's the last thing. A but you know, you're, you know, no. you know, you know, you're lying through your teeth. I'm not lying through my teeth. There's no way in God's green earth you can punch harder than me. Oh, you're Are you joking. all so silly? Yeah, you're 60, bro. You're 60. That's right, but I still yeah, carry the no, thing. No, yeah, no, but not like that. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, like, like that. You can't. You got to drop it in the hips now. No, I see you on the bag. You're like this on the bag. That's not because I ain't got nothing to prove. No, but it's all. It's all there. That's the question. Oh, mate, I thought we'd go on the bag now then, stick a glove on yeah. and give the bag one punch yeah, and see how we go. I can do that. That's, right, that's, then let's go do it then. Oh, mate, you, 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 well, are you calling this on? Yeah. I'm calling it on all day long. Go on then. Let's, on, let's keep it rolling then. Come on 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 then. What's he talking about? Breaking your punches so, harder than me. Of course I do. Do you reckon you'll punch harder? No, Felix. Oh, Felix has spied both of us. No, he's not better than that. No, no, he's not. I reckon he is harder. Mate, that's, that's good enough, mate. All right. Going right hand, yeah? Yeah, how are we going to test this properly? I know. You can look at it. No, we've already gone through that. We've already gone through that. We've already done this. Yeah, it's a great idea, Todd. You. Should we just have a little spark? Oh! Yeah, perfect! No, no. Oh, 30 seconds! 30 seconds! <laughs> 30 seconds! No, keep going! No, let's go! No, no, no! 30 seconds! Shoulder, you got bad shoulder. No, see? Oh, no, 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 that's he, he would love to do that and then take a picture if I was on the ground. <laughs> I just know him. He's like that because I've done it to him twice. <laughs> oh, look, he's, already, he's taken his glove off. So. 
Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I, I, I can approve it. Uh, well, yeah, what are we going to hear? How are we going to prove? How are we going to prove? How are we going to prove that we... You just bottled it on camera. I'm not bottled you it. You just fully bottled it. Bottled it you fully bottled it. Bottled it. Did, you... Did he bottle it? How can I bottle it? I've got to say one thing, though, Connor. Your glove came off before his one did. Yeah, I will good. say that. I'm going to like that. That's yeah. good. Seeing his glove come off before his one. He put him back up there quick. Who, all right, who's actually stronger though? What? Who's stronger? Oh, I'm stronger. Yeah. Well, in, in different exercises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can in, go. In. We, can, we can go do some way. We oh, can go. Someone. No. Someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, certain exercises. He's stronger. Like in the standard, you know, biceps. I know that. Biceps, triceps. But only when you start bringing up this new stuff oh, that no, I can't no. do. What about that one? What about this one then? I'm going to be shoulder. But certain exercises I can do. I'm going to be shorter. You're not even that much shorter than you. Yeah, look. I'm using the same way. Look, look, look. Why are you screwing up to me? Why are you screwing up to me? You just bottled it. You just bottled it. Your bark, no bite. Your bark, no bite. Look at all my bite. Look at all my bite. Look at all my bite. You'll bark no 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 bite. you will <laughs> so, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. Who's <laughs> <laughs> going first? We're both going for each other's neck. <laughs> You're gonna try and get me in that hole. Oh, he's pushing them buttons. Right, guys, thank you very much. I think before someone uh, cops one, mate, you've got to get a punch machine, mate. That doesn't value it. No, you can't. Right, guys, thank you very much for your time. Con, Nigel, take it easy and we'll catch up with you again soon. Yeah, but you can't scrap it with me now. Just, just admit it on camera. Everyone saw what just happened there. What is that clothes? Why are your clothes doing in my... Mate, Why you... you got, mate. Because you've got a Louis Vuitton bag. Why do you keep putting some wet stuff in me? It's on your slide. What? It's on your slide, Louis bag. Yeah, but, yeah, but why is it, why is it in... Don't be worrying about my bag. Yeah, but why do you put your wet clothes? Why do you always do that? Why do you, why you do that? This is what I've got to deal with. Yeah, see, he put... In my house, rent free. And then, and then, yeah, rent free. Breaks all my stuff, and then mum's about my t-shirt and his bag. To be fair though, it should be rent free, shouldn't it? It should be, shouldn't it? Oh, do you know what you see? No, no, but it should be, shouldn't it? I know what you're like now. I know you're. I know you're. Should be rent free. I think that's a fair comment. No, I know you're making. And then I'm going. I'm in baby fit now. Baby fit for what? Well, your wife actually going out and get her nails done and all that. So. Yeah. What else you got to do? You ain't got yeah, no friends. It, yeah, but it's you know that I've got to go and look after him, innit? It's your grandson. You shouldn't be. It's not even like black. Yeah, to be fair, you should be doing that as well. That's what I'm talking about, Coops. You should be doing that. Hey, you can... See what I mean? Alright, guys, thank you very much. We all good? We all good? We're good, yeah. Don't be stealing this hat either. That was that. Do you know what Rara's is? I don't think I do. Do I? This has been Coon and Cassius prior for TV with Colin Ben, Nigel Ben. Thank you very much. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.